Coming up in this episode, we'll be checking out a shipping container house that actually straddles a stream. Check out my new book in the description below and please subscribe. And once again, we have a link down below in the description, Tiny House Summer Camp Year 10. Build with us, hands-on, camp with us, guest speakers, demos, so much more up in Vermont in September. Hi, I'm Cam, and this is my container home. So, a few things first. Side open shipping container. Whole wall opens up, allows you to build a wall behind and have a, a lot of natural light coming in. Uh, doors open fully. Uh, you'd be able to swing this one around if the tree wasn't there. This one's attached to the other one at the moment. Uh, basically, if you are going away from your tiny home for two weeks or whatever you need, doors are easy to close up, throw a lock on it, know your stuff is safe, know your container is safe. Um, if you are planning on shipping the container between locations, say you have a place in Baja or Costa Rica or Italy, wherever basically, maybe a ski house up in Vermont, uh, easy to close up, break down, ship, uh, know that it's basically just a container being shipped, so nothing nothing too out of the norm, I guess, for shipping needs. <laughs> um, let's go inside. All right, we are greeted with this beautiful kitchen. A nice green, nice warm rug. Open shelving, have plenty of plants. And then we have our living area over here. So I'm gonna put this down. A um, few things. I'm six feet. We got plenty of headspace. Uh, you can even smush this up in the ceiling further if you're taller than that. Um, pretty comfortable. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this is three inch foam, maybe two inch foam, comfortable, but not too comfortable. So like when you have somebody staying over, they're not gonna stay for three weeks at a time because you can't stop the bed up higher. So you could have somebody sleep below, but you know, it's up to you. Uh, two big drawers for storage. Right here, this one. I'm gonna keep shoes in there for now. Uh, and then we'll get into the bed itself. So basically when you are getting ready for bed or about to hop in bed, you just move these pillows, fold these down, and this just allows the bed to get down that much further. There's some lag bolts in the track that it sits on so it's level. Uh, you don't need to worry about basically ending or signing up for whatever. So we'll put this over here for now. So remote down here. Easy. You got an up down winch runs up here. Uh, pulleys. <laughs> comes down and sits on the lag bolts. Um, I was gonna support this corner just cause like when you get up and on, I thought I was gonna move, but it's pretty good. Like no rattling or anything like that. Um, hop in bed, you get like a little step from the couch right here. If you are of this smaller side or on the smaller side. Um, TV stays there. You can view it when it's beds up and down um, and then you have a nice beautiful view out uh, then we have built-in shades in the door so if you do want privacy pretty easy both doors as well um, what's nice about this bed setup is you do get a bedside table here you get one on the other side when you're making your bed in tiny houses there always seems to be 
a little bit of an issue um, trying to make them because they are beds end up in lofts they end up uh, kind of like pressed into corners so this one again pressed into a corner oh yeah this is a full-size mattress too by the way so pressed into a corner but what's nice is you do have some standing room back here so you can stand make your bed sometimes I leave the bed about halfway up and you can go underneath between the two to throw them some things over um, just makes life a little bit easier and then we go make our bed again fold these up one pillow two pillows and good to go doesn't take very long um, you're only doing it twice a day probably so uh, it is not the quietest but it's pretty quick uh, and then we will look into more of the couch so back here is where our water and propane come in so there's the bungee that I was talking about uh, so water in propane in that goes to an outlet uh, you can use this as a little extra storage space um, there is a little hidden I haven't done this in a while hidden thing back here I can't get it uh oh just know it's there <laughs> and then oh man this is hard one-handed it's a nice big window uh, this is mechanical area so you have your mini split up top it blows just past the fan comes down basically just to right here uh, back up you can leave your bed up or down so we have a hot water heater that runs off of propane the stove runs off of propane electrical uh then we get into our kitchen kitchen has two outlets stove nice big sink um plywood countertops soft closed drawers uh plenty of storage between the open shelves and down below and then we'll move into our bathroom area so bathroom we have a dry flush toilet currently. Um, this is all messed up from my first attempt at this video. Uh, storage. Uh, and then we turn around and we have our shower. So shower, closet, vanity, extra storage. So normally, or you can have this sit any way you want. So this stays open. Uh, if you need more room around the table out here, you can close that down. Um, there is a seal on the back. It's basically a uh, FRP panel, this side and the back side. So it just slides against it and then it's greased so it doesn't stick. Every once in a while you might need to just give it a little push in, but other than that, nothing crazy. Uh, a shower curtain adding magnets along this side so it seals to there because the water does come this way but I'm six feet 180 pounds it's tight but as soon as you turn at an angle you're good to go I don't think it's it has been an issue for me so far we have a nice view out most of the time you can crack this window for ventilation or there is a fan up top I will admit the fan is not the most powerful fan because it is so small but it does does the job here's your closet uh, we'll look at the seal back here real quick so this is the seal that white is just grease at the moment um, so it's 
just a rubber angle that points like this that touches the back side. There it is. And then slide that in. This is again closet, so when it's when you go to take your shower, you're standing in your closet already, so get change right here, dry off. And then we'll get the shower door. So this is the door here. Um, when it's up, when this is up, you gotta. But it gives you privacy if there's two of you in here. Um, normally, it's just one. Like when. It, if it's just been me, I just leave it open all the time because who am I protecting myself from? Uh, fairly easy to move. Uh, then we have our eating area right here. Desk, workspace. Um, there's outlets underneath, so it's pretty nice space to work actually. You get a nice window. Um, slider window so you can open this thing up and then we will go outside so outside there is uh, an exterior light that runs the whole outside of the container or basically the built container um, it's just a, a strip but it does provide a lot of light um, the wood is cedar siding, so when it does gray over time, because there's nothing on it at the moment, it, uh, I think it'll look really nice with the um, gray of the doors and the white of the container. And then a little drip edge, so no water stays inside the wall, it all is pushed out. Um, here we have kind of our service side. Um, so, hot water heater exhaust, mini split, propane, water in, exterior outlet. Uh, right now, I just have a hose. You could have some sort of water collection system and a pump running to that, but it's just a hose inlet in. Um, the mini split is on slides, so it can be the heavy duty exterior slides that can just slide in so when you want to close up the doors this propane pipe can uh, pop right out as well and then you can shut the doors close it down for the winter or whatever and know that your stuff are, is safe inside uh, and then the electrical basically is this cable here comes down to a one 25 volt I believe uh, and then it has a washer dryer 220 outlet on it it just runs 125 uh, basically the one big electrical draw is the mini split other than that you just have LED lights and some outlets uh, we'll go under it's a little wet at the moment but So there's three downspouts. So two over here, one from the kitchen sink over there. Uh, there is the electrical cord. This is just my water at the moment. Uh, this is the plywood that came with the interior of the container. And then everything is spray foam, so it kind of sealed the gaps a little bit. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know, but I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Hopefully, hopefully you like it, and I'll see you later.